Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The dogs literally will bark at anything they see going by. So today I'm gonna give you guys a house tour. Our house is not really close to being finished, like the actual room. I didn't wanna want you guys to have to wait a really long time because there's no telling when our house will actually be all finished. So I'm gonna give you guys a house tour now and then we'll do an updated one probably in a few months when we do have everything finished. Okay, so also while we're on the topic of house things, I wanted to show you guys these towels um, from Cozy Earth. They are the best towels ever. We got like two sets of them, so we've already been using them in our master bath. So I'm gonna open the other set so you guys can see how amazing they are. Brayden loves the like waffle towel, and so do I. I feel like it just dries you off better, I don't know, but. Here they are in this cute little packaging. I promise you guys, if you are looking for a holiday gift to get someone in your family because you don't know what to get them, I promise you they'll love anything from Cozy Earth. It is amazing. I also wanna get some bedding from there. So as you guys can see, they are not too thick, but you can tell that they're really absorbent. And I love using them because they're not too rough on your skin. They're actually really soft and they dry you off so well. Me and Brayden are really picky about towels that we use but they're the perfect size not too long not too big and they're so soft you guys just have to trust me on this because we've been using them in our master bath okay these are washcloths and we also got some hand towels and we wanted to get enough so that we could put them in like also the guest bathroom because we want our guests to experience the best towels ever um and then these are the hand towels but i'll show you them there in our master bathroom Okay, so now back to our house haul, but you guys can use my code MAC30 for 30% off any of your Cozy Earth purchases. All right, this part I'm sure no one cares about, but we're gonna start in the garage. This is our garage area. Both of our cars usually fit in here, but only Brayden's is in here right now, I think. I can't really see mine. And then you walk in, we have this little coat closet. This is all the dog stuff that we are waiting for like a container to put it in. So just ignore that. But this could really be like some cute little bookshelves, not really sure. Here's our laundry room. Um, it's still a work in progress. This is also where the dogs eat. Okay, now we are headed into the kitchen. So this is our little kitchen area. We have the island chairs. Okay, so we have all of this. This is our pantry, which we literally only have sodas and random boxes in right now because we do not have a refrigerator. It will not be getting here until like December 19th. But, so we're using this little cooler as a fridge. So here we go. Here's the kitchen, very nice. Here's our microwave. Don't know if y'all care about that. Um, here is all our Christmas. sink here's our back porch they like just finished the fencing so i'm really excited well actually that's our back porch that's our backyard excuse me here's a view of the living room from here they had all the table stuff but we changed it for christmas so here's that and now this is going to be my room like my little closet it's technically the smallest room in the house because it's an office area but we do we have made a lot of progress Cause if you guys saw my room in Florida, it was like 10 times worse than this. And I have a TV, so I'm gonna be able to watch TV while I'm getting ready. Here is a closet full of my stuff. All right, I'll take you guys out on the porch now. Okay, it's raining, but just kinda, oh my God, my feet are freezing. This is the um, top porch. They're adding stairs down to the ground um, since the house is on a slant so that we can just let the dogs out and they can run on the stairs. So yep, backyard. All right, now we're going into the living room area. So here is our white couch that I'm terrified to get dirty with the dogs. Here's some chairs, these little poo things. Our Christmas decorations, we ended up getting the frame TV and I think it's really cool. We had time to put up a Christmas tree, which I'm really excited about. And then this is another exit to the porch. It's like sliding doors. So here is our front door. 
They have all this cute little stuff, our cute little Christmas decorations. Um, and then this technically is like a, I don't know, like a guest bathroom. Not really sure. Okay. That's just like a cloak closet that has a bunch of more of our clothes in it. So now we're headed into our master room. This was where the TV was, so we're trying to figure out where we want it. It's our master room. Um, we have the TV, we have the bed. We're waiting on our comforter and all that stuff to come in. We don't have like dresses or anything. So it really is a work in progress. But I just wanted to show y'all. Here's another view of our backyard. It's humongous. I didn't realize how big it was gonna be to like put the fence up, but the dogs are gonna love it. We don't really have anything really organized right now because when the movers came, they kind of got confused between me and Brayden's clothes, so we have to do that ourselves. Also, this cabinet broke, so they're having to come fix it. But we have all our clothes hanging. I organized Brayden's shoes for him in these nice little shelves. And this is pretty much all of Brayden's clothes except for a few. So we're gonna have to change that because my clothes are all upstairs. Okay, so now moving on to our master bath. This is like my favorite part because it's like a vanity just for me to do my hair, makeup, whatever. And then here are both of the sinks, the cozy earth towel I was talking about. I love how we both have a little rack. But yeah, there's that. Here is our shower. And then we have the toilet. The door shuts to separate it. And then we have our little laundry hamper right here. And that's the bathroom. All right, and then coming out, we have upstairs, downstairs. I'm gonna go up first, and then we'll go down after. But this is upstairs. Let me turn on this light. There we go. Bentley's leading the way. Which room do you wanna show them first? You lead the way. Come on, which way? Which room? You go. Okay, she got shy. So this is upstairs, we added this, I really love. We gotta look down. Okay, she wants to go in that room. So this is gonna be a little like office area where we keep the computer. This is a little nook area where we could potentially add like a couch, put a TV there, I think that'd be cool. Here is a guest bathroom for if we use that as a guest room. It's like the same as downstairs. Then this is our guest bedroom. Brayden's mom has been staying in here. She has Co Kobe's crate. TV, here's the bed. Still work in progress, so we don't have a lot of furniture. Bathroom. Then, this is the kicker. This is where all my clothes are because I don't have them in our master. And this is like ridiculous. I didn't know how many clothes I actually had until they laid them all out, but Good news is I definitely don't want this many clothes. Like I can barely walk. I don't want my clothes up here, period. So I will be going through them and I don't know if I'm gonna do like a pop-up sale. I don't really wanna sell them like on Depop or anything, but a lot of these have to go because I can't have this much. So keep an eye out for that. All right, now to this other room. A lot of y'all are asking where our cloud couch is because it's not down there. Honestly, I love our cloud couch, but it's more for like a movie room vibe. Like when we lived in Florida, it was good because a lot of people didn't come visit us regularly. But when people would, it's like you're really just laying, lounging around. It's not for like sitting up. You're having like conversation like literally it's for watching a movie. So we always wanted it to be for that. And so this is the perfect place to put it for now until our basement is finished. So this technically is Brayden's room. Here is our TV. And here is the couch. He has a closet, but he doesn't have anything in it right now. So right now we're using this as our movie room area, but also like his room where he comes and does like brain deals or anything like that. Okay, and then lastly is the basement, which I don't like calling it a basement because basements kind of freak me out. They definitely don't come. So the stairs, as you can see, aren't finished. The whole basement actually is not finished. The whole the house came with the basement unfinished, so we knew that coming into it. So like whenever we do decide to finish it, we'll just have to pay to get it done. But it was not a deal breaker for us because the house is so beautiful and we really didn't need this space right now. 
I know this is gonna make some of y'all excited, but this is, we did this so that like this could really be our forever home. So when we do wanna have kids and we do wanna have more guest rooms, we have the potential to have so many more rooms down here. We didn't wanna have to move again because y'all know we moved four times in 2022. And so I will not be moving again unless like I have to. So we wanted to choose a house that could be a forever home and this is exactly what this is. All right, so you come down the stairs. This could be a potential room. Then we have this as a potential room. This I think they have laid out to be some kind, you guys hear the dogs barking? Crazy. They have this, this is a potential, I think bathroom. This could be a room, we would just have to figure out how to cover all this. It's basically the first floor right underneath. And then this is a really long room. Right now we're gonna have the Peloton here, but this could be split into two rooms. It could be a one large, room we're not really sure and this is a bunch of stuff that we haven't gone through yet and then lastly there is also a porch leading outside and it's basically the same thing that's on the first floor and they're adding stairs right there so we'll be able to get to the backyard from both floors okay guys so that is the end of our house tour i hope you guys love this video so like and subscribe to see more and if you haven't already Go watch our updated Q&A to figure out where we moved, why we moved, and all the questions that you guys want to hear. But bye for now. Tell them bye, Bentley.